modern and contemporary homes here in Central Florida. They're all the rage right now. And love it or hate this boxy style, some of the design cues from these custom builder homes is trickling down to even production builder homes that you can purchase here in Central Florida. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through three of the best areas of Central Florida that have these modern style architectural homes. And we're gonna see which one matches best with the modern lines of this white Tesla. I've recently had the pleasure of touring a relocation customer around the Central Florida area to look for these modern styled homes. And today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes into these homes and see which features are trending the most and why you might wanna consider building one of these modern homes here in Lake Nona. And our first stop today is Winter Park, Florida. So let's go ahead and jump in this Tesla and go see some modern homes. You know, with these modern homes, the sky's the limit. In fact, NBA basketball players have bought up similar large properties to the ones I've filmed for the parade of homes for over $4 million here in Winter Park and Windermere, Florida. But for those of us that don't have that kind of budget, don't worry, you can still get into a nice modern styled home for a little bit less money than that. Now I'm gonna take you guys to the downtown Orlando area and more specifically, South Eola and Thornton Park to see another beautiful modern home. All right, we're gonna see this one here in Thornton Park, downtown Orlando on East Church Street. So here in Thornton Park in the South Eola district, you're close to downtown, there's a lot of new building going on in this area as well. But here's the thing, this is no HOA, just like Winter Park. So if you're an early adopter of a brand new modern home on a street that has more bungalows and smaller, older single family, you're running the risk that there aren't gonna be as many developments going on to insulate the value that you purchased. So I had the pleasure of showing this home recently to a relocation buyer, and the list price is $1,199,000. That works out to about $391 a square foot. It's located on a lake, has a swimming pool already, with gorgeous views from the kitchen, looking over that body of water. And that day, they had an offer on the home and it went pending before we could even make our own offer on the property. So that shows you just how fast these homes are going. You almost have to have your eye on a property before it's done being built to have a chance at making an offer on it. If it's a new custom built home that's priced right in a popular area like Winter Park or here in downtown Thornton Park, Orlando. All right, so now that we've seen the Winter Park area and much like the College Park area that's getting developed like here in Thornton Park with teardowns and modern homes being built, let's head down to the master plan Lake Nona community where we're gonna see some more modern custom homes. Okay, so we're here in Lake Nona, kind of in the heart of Laureate Park near Canvas Restaurant and Market and there's water surrounding these custom homes. This one's by Envy Homes. And this one is four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, just under 4,000 square feet under air. and has beautiful lake views out the back. And this is Ben's first time seeing this property, so you're gonna get some honest reactions from him. This is that open space people are looking for. That is absolutely insane. I mean, think about it. Even if the outside was uh, not quite as ultra modern, right? I, I would, would you agree that these modern finishes you see on the inside, that's kind of what people are wanting these days, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, you have all of these sharp edges, which is what people are looking for. Modern lighting, which is not just, you know, the old type. Everybody wants to be artistic now. So it gives them that modern feel, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's pending. Like many of the things here in Orlando, uh, they're going pending, right? Just like that. Yeah, I mean, you'll see something and then you'll leave the house and probably a couple of hours later, it might be pending. You never know. Yeah, just like the <laughs> one we saw downtown. You know, we were showing it to a client and that day the listing agent said they already had an offer on the property and we had to make a decision that day. But let's go through this home. We'll talk about some of the design cues that we're seeing, 
and some of the differences between a custom home and a production builder home. So when you get into the custom builder home category, there are certain features that you kind of expect as a buyer to be included, especially because you're paying a higher price per square foot. And many of those you'll find in the kitchen. From the double waterfall island quartz, a beautiful granite countertop island, to built-in refrigerators from Sub-Zero, Wolf, same thing goes with appliances, sometimes you'll see gas cooktops here, and then custom vent hood enclosures like you see here that really tie the entire theme together. Those are some things that people really wanna see in those custom builder homes that they're paying that premium price for. And of course, on this particular home site, you're definitely paying for that beautiful waterfront view, which is so tough to find. Here in Loria Park, there's various water views as well as conservation. And if you can have your custom built home right on that beautiful view, you can imagine how that's gonna be a premium package when this entire area gets built out. Let's head back to the garage past this built-in walk-in pantry, solid core doors, and you get the two-car garage with high ceilings, and you're within walking distance to the center of the neighborhood, as well as about a mile away from the town center that's being built. So you still have a lot of walkability with these properties. All right, let's head upstairs and see the rest of the house. Look at that. And it just keeps going. When yeah, I, when I, mean, I, I didn't expect the third floor and just seeing these stairs, the way they have the wood laid out, custom lighting up there, and these very large windows allow natural light to just come in and give you a sense of outside and you know warmth, and it just feels good. It feels bigger too. Yeah, definitely. Then, then the, from the front facade, you, you see that, that narrowness of this property, and you think, well, you know, I want a wider lot for a bigger home site, but to be honest, the architectural details of pulling this light in from the front it really makes this property feel bigger than what it looks like from the front. Let's go see those bedrooms. You got the double Julia balcony. With custom homes, they're custom. You can decide if you want to add an additional bathroom like here with this ensuite, whereas certain production builders, they don't give you that opportunity to really customize the floor plan per se. So when you're starting from scratch and you sit down with the architect that the custom builder works with, that's your opportunity to really specify what you want in a home. And as we saw in Winter Park, that could mean tearing down a property first before we even start with the design. But here in Nona, there is definitely quite a few lots you can select and various custom builders you can work with to choose those features that's most important for you in a custom built home. For example, if you want to view when you wake up in the morning in your master bedroom, this would be an ideal spot for that. And this is just bonus space. It's on the third floor, but you get these picturesque views. You can see all the way to the town center where they're building the Wave Hotel, the movie theater, bowling alley, of course, Medical City. You know, and that's about a mile away from this property. So this goes back to the whole future value potential. Yes, those more established areas like Winter Park, College Park, downtown, they have more amenities and restaurants right now. But if you build a custom home now here in Lake Nona, the idea is in the next five to 10 years, when this whole area is more developed, you will have had that modern custom home that you really put a lot of thought into and it's on a premium home site. And thus your future value has much more potential to rise. I mean, just look at the modern finishes in this glorious master bathroom from the massive walk-in shower with a floating drop ceiling and these beautiful 12 by 24 shiny tiles, multiple shower heads, the tub in the shower. This is just, uh, it's a piece of art that you get to design and work with the builder and show off your style for those clean modern lines that you're looking for. Now, some of these home sites are already spoken for, but there's a few that are coming up available that Tavistock, the developer, has released to various custom builders. We're gonna drive by a few of those so you can see exactly what they look like right now. All right, so as I take you around Lake Nona's Loria Park, you might have seen some of my other videos where I talk about the history of the neighborhood starting back in 2012 and how we got to where we are today. But what's interesting is now that many of the production builders like David Weekly Homes, Ashton Woods Homes, uh, they've built out much of their phases. The custom builders are starting to move in and fill in the remaining lots that are left. Tavistock, the developer, they decide who is going to build on which lot. 
and their master plan includes a variety of different types of homes and retail setting as you approach Medical City to the west of Laureate Park. Like right here in this field, there's gonna be the beep shuttle running along Linear Park with a running path and a waterway. And on the opposite side of that, there'll be more multifamily, mixed use residential, and doctor offices because it's Medical City. Production builders are finishing up many of the lots they have available, but there's a few custom builder lots like those behind me on conservation that may be available. You can still design your own custom home. This one by Envy Homes is already sold, which we love to see to have that mix of custom builder and production builder with many different types of architectural styles to create that variety within the neighborhood. So Dustin, how do you like your new Tesla? What? Oh no, I just rented this today. On what? Yeah, I rented it on Turo. Turo? Seriously? Uh-huh. You ever seen Turo? It's this app. Look, I rented from, I booked it. You just go pick it up. This is some guy's car that I rented. No way. Look at all this technology in here. We gotta find a cool house for this Tesla. I'm discovering so many things about this car that I'm really liking. Like we were just at the stoplight and it was it turned green and we weren't paying attention and the thing dings at you. It's like ding, you better get going. That's another reason why I'm really big on Lake Nona. It's because it's not just a bedroom community. You have a massive four-star hotel being built, the Wave Hotel right there in the distance. You have major employers that the developer Tavistock has helped bring in. It's the city within a city. This is what I really want to show you here in phase four. Well, what am I looking at, Justin? That is going to be a bunch of custom homes. Custom homes peppered in with production builder homes. This home behind me I sold to someone relocating here for well over $750,000 thanks to its beautiful waterfront in the back as well as some conservation. That home is over 3,500 square feet, five bedrooms. It's got 20 foot ceilings in the great room. And right here, there's gonna be a custom builder called DeVoe Custom Homes. They build in Lake Nona Country Club. They're gonna be bringing some of their talents here to Loria Park. I have a feeling these are gonna sell quick. Whether Winter Park, Windermere, or Lake Nona, if you're thinking of relocating to this area, you're definitely gonna to wanna to get with us here at Orlando Property Advisors to see which custom builder homes or lots might still be available. The market's moving fast, and every time we look these properties up, they tend to go pending. And as far as which home is best for my Tesla, well, we'll let you be the judge of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.